The remains of a New Orleans native killed during the World War II bombing of Pearl Harbor were buried in a Slidell Cemetery today. As Sparka Boyd reports, the veterans' relatives who attended the burial say although they didn't know him, they felt a connection. Fire. A day of remembrance. Ready. During this solemn memorial at the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Cemetery in Slidell, all homage went to one man, Clarence Thompson, a Navy sailor killed during the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. He loved the Navy. He loved this country. The New Orleans natives' remains were returned home more than 80 years later for a proper burial. Trevor Clayton says he recently found out he was Thompson's distant cousin through DNA testing. Clayton says he wanted to be a part of this moment after learning about Thompson's sacrifice years ago. As I read his story and, and listened to uh, what he's done for this country and what he's done for himself, he was a great man and a great patriot. Clayton says he doesn't know why it took so long for Thompson to come home. Would we have liked it to have been done sooner? Yes. But the fact that it was done, uh, we appreciate it. He was a career guy and um, he deserves our respect. Rear Admiral Terry Ettinger says Thompson could have retired three years before he was killed. That's one of the reasons why Ettinger says he admires him. He could have taken his chances and gotten out and taken his leave, but he didn't. He stayed in and, and he chose to fight. Ettinger says Thompson served as a ship cook in World War I, then a kitchen supervisor in World War II. And on December 7, 1941, Ettinger says it's believed Thompson was supervising cooks on the USS Oklahoma. Rear Admiral Ettinger hopes Thompson's story serves as a lesson for this generation and the next generation of American citizens. It's important because he gave of himself beyond himself. And sometimes we have to give more than ourselves for a greater cause or greater good. While family members at the burial didn't know him, they say they'll keep his legacy in their hearts as he's laid to rest in the state where his story began. In Slidell, Parker Boyd, Fox 8, Local First.